Dang, so we're checking out the only game where you can pull fecal material fresh from a person's anus and throw it into a toilet bowl that's sitting 20 feet away. It's Happy Wheels. Happy Wheels is one of those games that I always knew I would probably end up eventually playing. Typically, you're supposed to play boards that show your skill and agility. <laughs> That's not gonna happen. My entire purpose today is to try and find the most ridiculous, inappropriate boards there are and see if we can beat them. I literally never thought that reaching into a woman's rectum and pulling out a log and trying to throw it into a toilet would be so damn hard. This guy's over here, he's like, my hands are so warm. Dreams can come true. Off the backboard, nothing but bowl. I think this game just felt bad for me. It didn't even get close to the toilet and it was like, ah, we'll give it to you. Clearly this is a five star. Finding stupidity isn't really that hard. All you have to do is type in things like poop. So I loaded up a board that said poop. Now with more poop. I, I, I think I understand where they were going with this. I like the resigned looks on the faces of everyone in this game. They all just file in and they're like, ah, f it, we know what time it is. Am I driving this thing or do I have to do like a backflip off of it? No, the sphere actually. <laughs> you have a good dinner last night? The guy's stuck inside of my ball. I think something I really didn't do before is I gotta make sure to mash all of the bodies thoroughly. See, technically this is self-defense. This guy over here's got a knife, so. Okay, so now you just have to follow this. See, it's, it's automated. Not sure how to. <laughs> I was gonna say, I wasn't sure how to get to the mega punch guy. Clearly he comes to you. I think the elevator already went down, so I guess I'll. I. I don't know. This is one of those instances where I had to take the opportunity to see what the hell happened shortly before I killed the Mega Punch guy. I think everyone else just decided they didn't want to live anymore. And right here, you can see what happens as you reach the finish line. It's like a confetti of blood. I like how I'm wearing a man's leg all the way at the end. I think I've decided that the more inappropriate a board is, the more effort that went into actually building it. I'm not sure how- do you know what? Do you know what these boards don't have? An understanding of gravity. <laughs> Did I win? I killed everyone involved with one log of poop. That right there is a new record. I like how the toilets in this game can't even get out of tripping on acid. I understand that there was a victory involved there, but it looked like I just got attacked by a giant link of sausages. I'm very happy that you get the opportunity to replay everything because it really lets you understand exactly what the hell happened during the fact that you were getting showered with organs and hearts and stuff. All right, so right here, you're gonna see, uh, this is one single punt. And from there, everyone immediately dies. And if, if I remember this correctly, I'm pretty sure that this child uh, asked to meet Santa Claus for his birthday, and he will meet Santa Claus. And by meet, I mean he's going to have his spinal column ripped out of his ass. Right here, there it is, yep. Question here is, what happens when you win? And I'm really not sure because it happened so quickly. Wait for it, wait for it. There it is! It's like the violent version of the Care Bear Stare! I think everyone's going to be getting five stars today. I'm so glad that you're in trouble is now in HD. I really have to pee. Quick, to the outhouse. I'm so glad that I'm bringing my children along with me. Hey, I'm taking a dump here. Go find another outhouse. On your left, you will notice Yellow River. Uh, apparently, urinating in the river is legal. Hey, Timmy, how you doing? He's like, I have hepatitis now. It's actually a very productive outing with the children. <whistles> Except for the part where, you know, my son got his head split open on the ground. I, I'm, maybe I can get him back on the bike. Well, maybe I can get part of his body back on the bike. Oh, maybe not. Damn it, child, your friggin' liver is caught in my spokes. All right, onward we go. Oh, I got a new son. Shit. I, I don't know if my bike was flammable or if there's a volcano somewhere in this mountain. All right, we're doing this quick. I've seen everything I want to see. A mother is most deadly when she has no patience. <laughs> Holy Jesus, the boobs are freaking explosive! 
I don't know how this happened. I think I tried to do some stretches, but I'm just kicking my own ass now. Now my daughter just exploded. Man, they don't make them like they used to. All right, I gotta get past the explosive poops. All right, we made it. And by made it, I mean, we got punted all the way back to the game. <laughs> okay, still alive. Just had to use one poop to destroy the other one. Nice. And we've got a winner! I lost both of my children to do this, but I guess it, it, it'll turn out good in the end because I won't have to fight for who gets to use the bathroom. I don't know how I didn't win this when like 30% of my body is on the finish line and both children are there. Well, m most of both children are there. It's called puke bottle run. Not really sure where the puke comes from. All right, so that, now the name of the game here is you actually have to draw your way out of the jungle, but you have to do it while a ax is inserted into your anus and a man hangs from it. You may be asking yourself, but Gray, why? Because it's challenging, okay? It's actually very difficult using a pogo stick while a person's head is inside of my rectum. I might have to try and pull this man's ax out of my ass. All right, I've almost decapitated him. There we go. Now we have a lot less weight. Click to destroy. I mean, tell me more. <laughs> I just want to keep him like this. Hold on. Let me see if I can get past this guy. Got it. Almost got a second head up my ass. I need like a fanny pack down here or something. You can see I'm taking this brain with me, but I really don't have anywhere to stow it. The cool part is I can use this guy's torso as a bridge to go across this open area. All right, just draw the bridge over here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna make a couple of spaces though, just to kind of, you know, give myself a little bit of a difficulty. All right, I don't want to lose his brain either. Got it. Click those away. Nice. Just going on a nice language stroll here with my brain. Oh, f me. Oh, I'm still alive. It's fine. Okay, remember how I said it's fine? It's it's not fine anymore. I'm not gonna lie. The way that the battle axe has kind of like situated itself inside of my character. <laughs> this looks really inappropriate, but I guess that's the name of the, of the game on these boards. Damn it, it's stuck between the two blocks. Oh, this is cool. I'm using the battle axe as uh like prosthetic limbs. I'm trying to save everyone, so I'm taking as many of these guys to the finish line with me as I can. You know? It took some effort, but we're finally there. If I don't get stabbed in the friggin' head by this guy, don't you do it. You son of a bitch! Not today, Satan! I have to make my own boat. Uh, there you go, it's the SSFU. It's so beautiful. I probably should have made something with a little bit more surface area. You can see the starry sky at night. It's so peaceful. This is right about in this game where I expect someone's giblets to come at me at light speed and kill me. Yay! This is a board called Baby Throw. I think I, I think I know where this one's going. I replaced my child's milk with Red Bull. I'm gonna try and give him wings. Go, my son! All right, apparently I have to do this when the chain is on the other, the other swing here. And now, got it! I'd like to take a moment to mention that we completed it in the super lucky seven, seven, seven seconds. I need to ask my son and be like, what does it feel like being a winner? And he'll be like, it feels like shards of glass puncturing my skin. It's actually one of many baby throws. I never thought I would have to practice so hard at throwing children. Here we go. Yes. I'd like to take a moment to mention that that child suffered absolutely no injuries at all. But because he didn't suffer any injuries, I just real quick, just gotta try something. Yep. <laughs> okay, exactly what I thought would happen happened. <laughs> Look, it was for science, okay? This kid is like the star of the show. You gotta launch your child through a small inlet over here in three, two, one, go. Attempt number two. I wanna go home. Shut your mouth, Jimmy. Not until we complete the board. Get there. Yes! I only had to go through like triplets in order to make it work. Okay, from what I understand, I actually didn't need my daughter to win this, although it's not really good that I have a battle axe lodged in my rectum. All right, come on, baby, get there. Just gotta get this thing out from my- You can have one leg, I don't need it. All right, a little bit of this. Gotta keep my child alive. And it, he slides into- 
home base. Okay, this is the last one of the baby launching. As I understand, if my child gets inside of the box, his entire college tuition is paid for. All right, Princeton, here we come. First try. I think the major question I have is what part of him gets to go to Princeton? Cocaine. This board is called cocaine is a hell of a drug. Will you slowly slip down the realm of LSD fueled yoga mats while attempting to not get killed by explosive knives? No, my alcohol. Uh, this is the first stage where I won, but I have to ask myself, did I really? I chose something called the Vomit Comet. I'm not really sure what to expect when I searched for the word vomit. <laughs> Never mind, I think I understand now. Somehow I'm the only one that's still alive. I was the only one still alive. I like how our little meatball that we have created, we've all congealed into one odd beefy triangle okay i think i'm just controlling one leg now it's like a little food processor made of limbs there we go ah uh, yes I, i'm that heart right there can't you tell i don't know how i did it but i managed to escape the entire board and now i get to live in this little area right on the top shelf when a board called toilet paper has almost five perfect stars you know it's gonna be something special. Click here to open the door. Press Z to stop controlling the car. Press state space bar to control the car. All right, bitch, better take my goddamn gift card. Here we go. <laughs> yes. This is the most realistic version of ever going to grab toilet paper I've seen in my entire life. I haven't slain a single human being yet, so I'm kind of waiting for it. There we go. Made it to the toilet paper store. Don't feel bad though, I'm not a monster. I took everyone else with me. Well, some of the organs of everyone else. This guy's femur got to come. You'll notice there is at least one exposed brain there. Dad, open the- <gasps> What the fuck? I was reading it as dad opened the door. I need to go to the toilet. Jesus! Here, take it. Take the toilet. I don't want it anymore. <laughs> got it. Come on, torso. I know you can do this. Hell yes. The question is, could you survive? And the answer is at least one ventricle of my heart could. We did it. Okay. I'm playing one last board here. Gotta go to the toilet while having three swords lodged in your rectum, an old guy eating your spinal column, and a piece of poop coming out of you. It's a lot harder than it looks. I'm going to toilet heaven, f*** this. He's got a gun. <laughs> Why must so many people die? Just so that I may use the restroom. Phone flip. Come on, baby. I only have, I only need part of me to win. I reached toilet heaven. And I, I kind of wish I stayed in hell. <laughs> anyway, folks, hope you enjoyed this episode of Happy Wheels. <laughs> if there's any inappropriate words I need to search for for a board, let me know in the comments section. Till next time, stay foxy and much love.